Hi everyone, Thomas Desmond here, developer advocate at Sitecore. Recently, I've been intrigued by the new Next.js app directory architecture released in beta with Next.js 13.1. So I set out to build a proof of concept app, trying out the new architecture in Next.js. I decided to build a clone of the Vercel Commerce app using Sitecore Order Cloud and the new architecture. I wanna give my early impressions of the new architecture and talk about documentation, shifting your mindset to server components versus client components, package support, and last, should you migrate to the new architecture? Let's jump in and talk about it. I started off my journey into the new app architecture by reading the documentation. It got me excited about what was possible with the new architecture in Next.js. The documentation is well thought out and being rewritten for this new architecture. And it even uses Vercel's new page preview feature where visitors can leave comments directly on the page and you can see yours and others comments live. This was super helpful because it added clarity to certain sections and also you could directly comment about support for different features. We'll talk more on package support later. I'd like to add that the documentation is positioned well for someone transitioning from the pages-based architecture to the new app directory. There's lots of comparing old versus new, so it's really easy to learn this new architecture if you're already familiar with Next.js. To close out documentation, I'd like to add that this is a very new and big change to Next.js. So there's not a lot of community documentation yet. Blog posts, videos like this, tutorial starter kits, um, so you'll likely find yourself reading GitHub issue threads if you run into something new or unexpected. Let's move on to shifting mindset to server components versus client components. One of the biggest changes in the new app directory is that all components are server components by default. A server component is a component that renders entirely on the server, leveraging the power of the server to fetch data and reduce dependency requirements for the client. Ideally, you use server components as much as possible to reduce the load on the client. So you want to think with server components in mind. Server components are great, but they can't do everything. Specifically, they cannot contain client interactivity. A component built and rendered by the server cannot contain client code. For example, use state, use effect, on click, all cannot exist inside a server component. Next.js does a great job of showing you an error if these sneak their way into one of your server components, but you'll learn quickly what can and cannot be done inside a server component. And it's easy enough to tell a component that it is a client component with the new use client directive that you add to the top of your file. This tells Next.js that this component has client interactivity and needs to be a client component. The functionality of a client component is that it is pre-rendered on the server and then hydrated on the client, allowing you to have that client interactivity. At first, I thought putting use client in a lot of files indicated I was doing something wrong. But in the previous pages architecture, everything was a client component. So it may just be that I'm a little used to the old architecture and not fully thinking with server components in mind. But some of the packages and libraries that I use and like in Next.js require using client components which was a big reason for me having the use client in many files. So that leads me to package support. This new architecture is a serious change. This is breaking change for some packages and libraries. An early difficulty that I ran into was using UI component libraries like Mantine and Material UI in the new architecture. After looking through some GitHub issues, the culprit is Emotion a package many of the component libraries rely on that does not support server rendering. Now, with a custom initialization setup, I was able to get Mantine working for my client components, but that meant that any component with UI was going to be a client component, not taking advantage of those server component benefits. It's unclear if Emotion will or ever can support being server rendered, but they are aware of the problem and have issues open tracking how they want to move forward. This was the only major package support hurdle that I had to take on, but it did take custom code and even the Mantine team says that they have not fully tested or support it in its current state. Bringing simpler packages in that didn't require setup or initialization worked out of the box, 
So most of your packages and libraries should be supported, but it's worth checking with the developers or maintainers to see if the new app directory is supported. So finally, we're at the question, migrate now, later, what should we do? Should you migrate to the new architecture? Well, the short answer is no. At this time of recording this, the app directory architecture is still in beta and not recommended for production. But if you're a Next.js user and plan to continue using Next.js, I think it's a good idea to start poking around and experimenting with the new architecture. Maybe build a small side project with it to get the feel for it. That's why I took on building the Vercel Commerce clone in the app directory with Sitecore Order Cloud. I'll create more content on what I learned from that and how I took advantage of the new architecture. Or the page architecture and app architecture can work together. It's not one or the other. So you could consider building out your next feature in the app directory. Keep your existing app in the pages directory, but get a feel for the app directory changes by building out a new feature there. Overall, I like the new architecture. It looks like it's going to allow for more options when building your components and mixing and matching static versus dynamic content. It's a big change for Next.js, but a step forward in allowing you to do more. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe so you can get more content like this.